Um, so you all know that I am um, a future educator, and I can't wait to be in the classroom with my future students one day. But something, you guys, something really caught my attention that came to me about co-teaching, which is it is becoming more common as educators. They look to meet the wide range of students' learning needs in their classroom. So whether you are new to co-teaching or you have been, you know, under this for a few years on your belt by now, it is a great idea to think about how you can make the most out of your co-teaching partnership. Now, for the teachers out there, I want you to listen up because I have some tips for you guys that I want to share of how you can make your co-teaching partnership the best that you can. All right. So the first you guys I have is to, and this should be, you know, implemented in all classrooms, really in all classrooms, which is establish trust because you need to trust, you know, your students and also um, with your teacher's assistant, whoever is being with you, because you all need to work together as a team, communicate, have that trust between each other of what you need to do with your students. Because if if you're, you know, the teacher in the classroom and you have the teacher assistant, if you guys are not working together of maintaining your classroom, it's going to be chaotic. OK, trust me, it's going to be chaotic because I have quite experienced that when I had started observing at schools. So you need to be on the same teams. OK, uh, you guys have anything you would like to add to that? Does you know, teamwork, it, teamwork. Absolutely. Right. How do you expect the students to be officially working in a team? We all can't oh, say that, yeah. say that, That's say That's that. True. Yeah, you know, I'm going to skip you. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I saw it. All right. What's the next one? Okay, let's uh, go. Okay, so then. Okay, so the next I have is to start strong with how you present yourself to your students. That's a big one. That's a big oh, yeah. one because students are seeing us. They are seeing you teachers of how you are presenting yourself in the classroom. Okay, because mm -hmm. for me, you need to be yourself. You got to be yourself because they will tell like on certain days, you probably this type of way and then other days you're this type of way. And then it goes back and forth. If you are faking it, trust me, those students will see they will see that. Wait a minute. Something is something is off. Mr. Anderson, what is he doing? Is, is, is he trying to fool us? You can't do that. You can't do that. <laughs> uh, trust me. Trust me. They, you just got to be yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And if you, yeah, just be yourself because if, if you go showing up with a full face of makeup and then mm -hmm. one day you go without that makeup, you look like a tree monster. No, no, they're going to call you. They're going to call you the mistress teacher. If you come a little school with, with makeup, they're going to call you Miss Mistress. Don't oh do that. Gosh. That's what one of my teachers has done. I mean, she's scared of us. The older ladies, and the older teachers at the school, they're going to call y'all, they're going to call you beauty queen. Oh, beauty queen. They were like, they were like, I see that beauty queen walking down the other. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, beauty queen. BK. Oh, BQ. Okay. 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 What's the next? Next is to plan together. It was quite uh, quite similar to what I talk about about the trust. You got to plan together, work together as a team. So you guys all know I'm not going to go big into that. Okay. Um. Yeah. So the next is to think about which co-teaching model to use, because there are different strategies out there of how you can co-teach with inside the classroom. OK, it's just at the end of the day, you guys, you got to be, you know, I say this all the time onto the show. Do what's right for you inside of your classroom, because I feel and this is my opinion. I may be wrong with this. You are the only one who runs that classroom, nobody else. That is your space. You can use it however you want to. OK, I'm sorry. I don't care if, you know, the principal comes in, the uh, the superintendents, the, the head board of the school. I don't care if they come, if, if they can. Well, well, if they uh, try to come into my classroom, tell me how I should run it. I'm going to tell them blank up. You have no right because you have not experienced being inside the classroom with my students. You have and not. Ladies and and then, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Damian Martin, Damian Luther King is going to get uh, fired. <laughs> if he goes off the <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Damian has officially yesterday visited the hood. 
Okay. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, but but but, but still, but it's okay for Damian Luther King because he's he's acting like an activist. But wait, for, wait, for, I do. Oh, Damian, I, do yeah. right? I, I, I I genuinely agree with that. You know, running the classroom how you feel is need to be run. Oh, yeah. Running how you how, run it, run it how it's supposed to be run in your way. Don't let nobody else try to change your classroom up. Like that's the number one rule that people need to know. Yeah, don't, don't change your classroom up for nobody. Wait, right? You said Damian Luther King. Yeah, because Damian Luther King. Because Damian Luther King is going to go off and going to be like, I have my, my right. This is my oh, classroom. Oh. This is my rules. And then they're going to the next five minutes. They're going to throw them like they're going to they're gonna do them like uh, they did Jazz, Jazzy Jeff on the Fresh Prince. Throw them straight out the door. <laughs> um, and then they're going to do a little scream. Ah! Drop. Okay. <laughs> um, my last is is to be flexible. Okay, you guys, you gotta be flexible with your students inside the classroom because oh, um, what? Yoga. What? Yoga. <laughs> no, I'm talking like, about. No, I'm talking. About, I'm t I'm talk. Let me talk. Okay, you gotta be flexible. You got to adjust around your schedule because not everything is gonna go yeah. as planned. Okay. So, because your agenda, one day you may get through everything for your first period, then your second period, you may uh, get half done. But it's okay. It's okay. There's another day. There's another day, okay? TJ, please stop because you're going to hurt yourself. Try to be flexible. Uh, there's uh, always that one. There's always that one. And I'll, and I'll, and I'll. Go ahead, Damien. Well, that's it's time for a break because look, 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 uh, on that he's, note, he's gonna seriously hurt himself seriously on, on, on that note we're gonna have to take a quick break stay tuned you're watching the extra oh.